Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got some plays for you today, a top 5 video. I haven't done a top 5 video in a while. Uh, basically, wanted to put out, uh, you know, in gameplay, which is pretty much my new format, top 5 plays uh, that I pretty much use the most. Uh, the most explosive plays that I have that I constantly find myself using so that you guys can duplicate that and uh, run that yourself. So starting off in no particular order, uh, my personal one of my personal favorite plays is the verticals play. Now I used to use this a lot more. If you watch my channel, you've probably seen this a lot. Um, it's one of my go-to plays, probably because it beats so many different defenses. A lot of the home run plays that I like to run, I like to run them because they'll beat multiple defenses. This play here will be cover three, cover two, man coverage, cover two man, which is something that a lot of people uh, find is really hard to get uh, offense against. Uh, it's one of it's going to be best against cover three. That's one of the best things that it's used. For. As you're going to see right here, I mean, this is a cover three defense. Couple different ways to run it, and a few things to look out for. Uh, ultimately, I, I'm you can run it. You know, I like to spread them out. You can see right here. I mean, I just basically am sending everybody on streaks, and all I really have to do is watch the user. If the user doesn't drop back into that Y route, he's going to be gone because this this outside route, the B route there, really pulls the cover three uh, outside corner down. And you can see, I mean, I'm just going to, you know, this is something I'm going to hit home runs all day. Uh, it's a very diverse play. Like I said, it works against multiple defenses. Against cover three, it's going to be best uh, against cover two and against uh, man coverage. The B route's really the route. Um, once again here, I got another opponent running cover three. I like the offset look too. Um, if somebody's running cover one man, uh, you'll know that because you know you'll have like a, a bunch of corners on the right side uh, which is really easy to read so if you do have a defense or, uh, or we come out and they're running a lot of uh, man coverages that'll give the play away right away here we go once again we got a big opening in the seam of cover three like I said it's, it's really best against cover three but it really works against a lot of different defenses now you can run it just like this as well you don't have to motion running out running back out like I've been doing um, you can run it just like this and it'll have a lot of success motion the running back out is really just to pull the safety to cover three safety over as much as possible but if you leave the running back in the backfield it'll still work and a lot of times the running backs are really good check down so to me this is a very explosive play but it's a very versatile play so here we have that man coverage look I was telling you about. It's really easy to tell when you have a cluster of cornerbacks on one side. And uh, this is what you're going to look for as far as the X route. Look how that cornerback just bites. Uh, you're going to see that every time. Every time you get man coverage, um, that was a cover one. But you can beat cover two and cover zero the exact same way. This is another play. Um, it's a really good cover three play, but it's pretty diverse. I mean, the post route is going to be good against cover two, against man coverage. If you have a, uh, a good receiver running that route, um, it's not going to be a home run route the way that the RB route is uh, the way that I set this up a uh, couple you know a couple different ways you can set this up as well the way that I'm going to set this up the most is I'm going to motion out um, the Y route here I'm going to motion out the running back to the side just to kind of pull coverage once again that's really the point uh, I give myself a check down with Randy Moss on the slant coming open underneath uh, the Y route he'll develop late and a lot of times because of the routes on the bunch side here uh, the user will typically be vacate, vacating the center of the field for a good check down but if he doesn't cover the RB route, uh, which is why I slowed that down and did a close-up on the user, once again, you're watching that route. If the user jumps on that, he can take that away. But if he doesn't jump on that, you can see it's an easy touchdown. So like I said, all I'm doing really, streaking the RB route, that's the, that's the most important thing, and uh, motioning out the running back. As you can see right here, putting the running back on a streak, and then motioning him out to the point where he's really just stretching the uh, the outside corner once again. So plenty of checkdowns to be had on a play like this. Uh, and then, like I said, just watch that RB route. If that's safe, you see how he drops down over the RB route? I mean, that just gives you, um, you know, just an explosive lane. Even if the, uh, the defender dropped back and tried to cover in a match scenario, sometimes they'll do that. But it doesn't take away the play. The play's still there. So here you go once again. I'm always running it to the open side of the field, too, if you can't tell. Uh, that's the best way to go. Uh, I also can motion out the um, this route here here uh, it's pretty much the same thing you're going to see how that just kind of pulls um, the cornerback outside once again uh, i probably could have went to that rb route but I, like i said i also have the option to go to the uh to the outside you know to the post route as well uh, and it's going to be very successful the post route's probably a little bit better in cover two and man like i was saying but there i, I did against cover three and it still worked out 
Now that plays probably in a lot of playbooks as well as this play here. The uh, the gun tray wide flex stick is one of my more favorite go to plays. It's probably it's got to be in like more than half of every playbook in the game. Whatever playbook I use at the time, I can pretty much always find this play, which is one of the reasons it's one of the best. And it's got one of the easier setups in the game. You're really just streaking everybody. It's the spacing that's really what's important on a play like this. I'm just going to streak the X route, streak the B route, streak the A route, motion the running back out, streak the RB route. That's really all there is to it. Then there's a certain uh, amount of uh, choice. Um, typically, if you if you want, you can use the Y route in this flat. I typically will slant that because your your opponent's going to start using these streaks. That's pretty much you know at some point they're going to try to take that away and they'll vacate the center of the field and the slant will be wide open. I'll show that more here in a minute. Um, how you can slant um, the uh, the run the, just the slot receiver just to give yourself a really decent checkdown. Uh, but like I said, super easy. It's the spacing. It's the fact that these receivers are so wide to the boundary that it really creates a lot of space. This here's a cover two look. Once again, this play beats cover two and cover three. Um, you can also easily adjust this to beat man. Uh, if you come out and your opponent's running a lot of man, I just turn these slot receivers into zigs. Uh, but even the uh, the Y route being on a slant, which he will be on this play, is a really good uh, really good option. So um, just slanting the Y route, like I said, your opponent is going to leave the center of the field. You can also slant the running back. The running back on a streak isn't the most necessary thing, as you can see right here. As I motion this guy out, also um, you can see how it just kind of exposes what the defense is. A lot of times, motioning out um, this this running back can have that effect. And you can see right here, it's not, you know, we can hit home runs. If you have a fast enough tight end like I do here, you can make a really big play out of that as well. So it's really a big play to the tight end and the slot receiver. So this next play is another one of my more favorite plays. I'm currently using the Raiders playbook um, because of a lot of people requesting it. And this is probably the best play in that particular playbook. It's one of the first plays that I put out this year. Super glitchy. Uh, once again, beats cover two, beats cover three. I'll try to put links in the video description for you guys if you want to see like longer breakdowns of these particular plays. Uh, but all you really have to do is streak the B route, streak the A route, and you'll have um, a really explosive uh, you know, streak right up the seam. I mean, it's a really easy play against cover three. You can see we have another cover three right here. Like I said right here, I mean, all I'm really doing is streaking the inside routes and, you know, I'll motion out the X route a lot of times or motion out the RB route just to kind of create as much spacing as possible. But it's all about watching the user one more time. This guy right here, he does not stick with it. If he would have stuck with it, if he would have committed to it, he probably would have took it away. Uh, but since he hesitated, it made that, uh, that, that receiver open. Even if he does, I mean, the A route is still going to be really good. You need speed at your tight end, but both of these inside routes can really have a lot of success against uh, against cover three right here you can see just you know bombing it up pass leading away it's a very successful play and uh, like I said, also beats cover too. The outside routes also beat man coverage the same way the first play did. Uh, the wheel routes, you just don't see a ton of uh, you know man coverage like man cover one, man cover um, two. You'll see a little bit more, but ultimately, uh, if you do get a man coverage look, these outside routes will be just as explosive as the inside routes. And uh, like I said, it also beats cover two. We'll get a cover two look here in a minute. Um, right here, I mean, we're seeing a lot of cover three. I think that's probably one of the more popular defenses in line. I don't know why, because to me, it's such an easy play to beat. Um, uh, the running back, once again, really good check down. Uh, like I said, this is very similar to the verticals play, the first play that I showed, and uh, that's really also one of my favorite plays as well. Now, as far as the running back goes, based off of such a vertical uh, set, all the uh, all the all the routes drawing back will typically draw back all the zones. So unless the user decides to stay home, um, they're gonna the, the running back's always gonna be open. Now, here's the cover two look that I was talking about. Um, no real adjustments needed. The B route can get open over the middle of the cover two, but the user's typically going to be covering that so the outside route is going to be better as you can see right here it just you know i just beat it outside but you can beat cover two and cover zero the exact same way so moving on to the last play i wanted to pick another play that was in a lot of different playbooks and the pa shot seams which goes by a couple different names is one of the better plays now this is pretty much a cover three play um you could also uh, work it against cover two but i'm going to focus on cover three this is pretty much the setup streaking the y route and pretty much the a route the same way uh, is probably one of the better ways to do it um and this is going to be uh one of the better plays against cover three you can see i'm just pass leading outside uh it's the same kind of issue you know issue where the outside receiver pulls a cover three corner back down just with the route that he's running and you have another really explosive play uh, this can also work against cover four and cover two on the opposite side where you have the wheel route which is something that i've used in a couple of different plays right now the b route uh, but i'm just going to focus on the cover three aspect of it on this particular video uh, because you know that's the easiest way to do it but if it is a cover two the b route uh, will get open above the cover two cornerback the exact same way he has in a couple of previous plays 
that I've shown already because it's basically the exact same concept. It's a verticals uh, concept on the right side. So that's it. That's the vid. If you guys like this type of video, you want to see more like this, more, you know, top five run plays, top five defenses, whatever, uh, let me know in the comment section or, let, or hit the like button and I'll do that next. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Much out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.